After officially receiving the Libertarian Party nomination for president on May 29th, Gary Johnson reiterated his support for ending the federal drug war. We're going to try and really address the mandatory minimums, uh, um, if elected, really addressing uh, those nonviolent criminals that are in fact behind bars because of our drug laws. For the most part, that's the majority makeup of federal prisons today. Johnson later explained why cannabis should be legal. Marijuana products uh, directly compete with legal prescription painkillers, antidepressants, that statistically kill 100,000 people a year. Uh, marijuana products uh, arguably is just as effective. Not one documented death due to the use of marijuana products. I have always viewed legalizing marijuana as leading to less, less overall substance abuse because people are going to find it as such a uh, safer alternative than everything else that's out there, starting with alcohol. The campaign to legalize marijuana in Colorado uh, was a campaign based on marijuana is safer than alcohol and all of the statistics that were supposed to go south in Colorado have actually gotten better and I do mean driving incidents, crime, you name it, uh, Colorado is a vibrant place does it have to do with marijuana? I think it has something to do with it, the fact that uh, Colorado really is a when it comes to personal liberties and freedoms, they're right at the top of the list. In an interview with CBS News June 1st, Johnson said he stopped using cannabis to run for president and promised that would continue if elected. During the party's convention last month, the Libertarians also chose their vice presidential pick, former Republican governor of Massachusetts, William Weld. I used to be have a different emphasis on a number of these criminal justice issues when I was a prosecutor for seven, seven years back in the 80s, although even then we emphasize the demand side of uh, narcotics use as well as the supply side. But I do think there's uh, uh, something happening in the country right now, uh, uh, kicked off by Republican, uh, Republican governors uh, in the South, which is uh, a realization that we're not, we're not getting too far by treating uh, narcotics uh, uh, problems, alcohol problems uh, as uh, addiction, as uh, a status crime as opposed to a national health care emergency. An increasing percentage of the population wants to treat those issues as public health issues uh, as opposed to status crimes. And that has an impact on the prison population, has an impact on the ability of people uh, who have been involved with these minor drug offenses to get fully reintegrated into society and become more productive members of society. Despite Weld's claim, other than a few standouts, Republicans have never been the leading voice for drug law reform in the U.S., which even Johnson pointed out in a separate C-SPAN interview. Republicans uh, bent on this social conservative dogma that at the end of the day puts people in prison for personal choices, a drug war being example, uh, mandatory sentencing, uh, the fact that we have the highest incarceration rate uh, of any country in the world. Come on, uh, people should be allowed to make choices in their own lives. In the two latest national polls that include Gary Johnson, he received 8 and 11 percent support when pitted against Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. In those same polls, Clinton received 38 and 39 percent while Trump got 37 and 35 percent support. With six months still to go before the November vote, and nearly half of Americans clamoring for a third party option, there's a very good chance the Libertarian Party could have its best election ever. This is especially true when the major parties appear determined to nominate the most disliked candidates in modern U.S. history, Trump and Clinton.